morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is a little impromptu thing. Um, I kind of was thinking about this. I was thinking about Halo a lot the last couple of days, and I had the thought. I was like, okay, so the latest thing is Staten left Halo, or left 343 to go to Xbox, right? So I was like, okay, well... That sort of confirms a lot of things, and I want to get into that in a minute here, but um, first off, as soon as Halo started, Halo Infinite started, people were like, oh, Halo's dead, it's fucking dead, that hits a Halo's over, 343's the worst, Halo's over, and then people played the game a little bit, and it was fun, back in, what was it, November 2021 when it came out, and people were like, oh yeah, no, this is actually good, and then they realized a few months later, the game's kind of crap, it's a buggy pile of shit. Um, and the, the calls for Halo is dead started all up again, just like they had with Halo 5. Um, but anyway, it's funny. If you look now, today, is Halo Infinite dead? You can just see, or is Halo dead in general? You just look, and there's just video after video after video after video after video after video. And the funny thing is that if you've been paying attention, if you pay attention to this kind of stuff... Um, the writing was, or the scribbling was on the wall a year ago, um, when there started to be rumblings of people leaving 343. Uh, you know, it was, it was rampant speculation, but there was some truth to it because if you've been following video games for any amount of time, uh, things start to pop up and you start to see patterns. You start to see these things happening, trends over the years. And, uh, and, um, yeah, you start to, you start to be like, oh, wait, I've, I've seen this happen before. This might be leading to something. So uh, 343 and Microsoft have been like, oh, no, 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 no. Everything's great. Halo's safe. Everything's wonderful. Don't, don't lose consumer confidence because if you do that, then investors will get skittish and yada, yada, and all this kind of stuff. Don't lose money. But anyway, apparently today it's come out that, or within the last few days, it's come out that Halo is ditching their own, or 343 is ditching their own 343 slip, uh, their own uh, slip cape, slip spit, fuck my life. <laughs> they're ditching their engine, their game engine, slip space, because it's a piece of shit. And they're going to be using, um, they're going to be using Unreal Engine going forward, apparently. Or somebody is making a Halo game in Unreal Engine. And anyway, but let's see how we got here, though. So... Halo came out and Halo Infinite won't run wrong. You know, again, you can find you can find any number of articles about this on any number of websites and so many things went wrong. We we all know. It's like the store was terrible, the game was buggy. It just a myriad of problems. Connection issues, you couldn't get into games for months on end. It was Master Chief Collection 2.0 is basically what it was. So but all this started, really, it started with Halo 5, when that was just an absolute shit show. And again, this is something you can find. Just type in, why did, the, why did Halo 5 fail? And you will find thousands of videos and articles and blogs and op-eds about this sort of thing. It's, it's, you know, the writing has been on the wall about 343 for years and years and years. Um, 343 has been more concerned with chasing trends and, uh, you know, trying to make money off of Halo than actually making Halo worth something that people want to spend their money on. Um, and there were the diehard fans that supported it for a long time, hoping it would turn around, and it just hasn't, plain and simple. So, anyway, that was all going wrong. So Microsoft is like, oh, we got to do something here. So they bring back Halo. They bring They bring back Halo. <laughs> Well, I mean, they kind of did bring back Halo because they brought back Joseph Staten. Um, and this was a call to fans. Fans are like, holy shit, they're bringing back the guy who wrote Halo. They're bringing back one of the Bungie guys. They're bringing back one of the OGs, one of the originals. This guy made Halo. He knows what Halo's about. Halo, Halo, Halo. And everybody's happy about that. And it was, it was, a, bit of a, it was a bit of a crowd control, so to speak to uh, calm the masses down. It's like, oh, Staten's back. He's saving Halo. And even I fell for it. I was just like, oh my God, they're bringing back Staten. They're serious about fixing this. Um, then we got the great news that the fucking horrible, horrible, horrible management at, at DICE, or in DICE, <laughs> at 343, was um, being shaken up. And 
I would posit, I would, I would present to you the idea that even though Bonnie Ross answered to Phil, Phil, what's his nuts, Phil Spector or whatever his name is, um, Spencer, uh, she was the one that ultimately made the decisions when it came because she was the top of 343. She was the one that ultimately, ultimately made the decisions in regards to what was getting made, what was getting done, so on and so forth. And I want to play this little clip for you. And you've probably seen this clip before. This is pretty funny. Okay. Oh, shit. It didn't get to the right place. Hold on. Let me get it back to the right place. I think it's right at 18 minutes. Okay, here we go. Come on, Bonnie. Why is this? Oh, is it playing? Whoops. We had a lot of learnings along the way. You know, when we fell down with the multiplayer launch of MCC, or when we didn't put split screen in with Halo 5, I think it's incredibly painful for the community and for us. You know, I think it erodes trust with the community. Okay, so, and what I'm about to say. I'm taking the kid gloves off a little bit here, but it's not a complete indictment against Bonnie Ross. But look, that tone, everything about her demeanor, that just that total lack of passion, that lack of anything. Like, oh yeah, we we learned a lot. We just it was very, we were very sad, and all the players, oh gosh, it was so bad and awful. And we we our learnings. She keeps saying our learnings. Anyway, I would rather have Peter Molyneux promising me the fucking moon and the stars and being excited and being like, oh, we're going to make the greatest thing. Project Nadal is amazing, you know? Like, I would rather have somebody who is passionate and gave a fuck about games than Mayonnaise Lady here, who... As the community is part of our world building... A lot of learnings from that. Um, Fucking. Granted, maybe she's just not a great speaker publicly, but she's been doing this for well over a decade. And you would think at some point she would get a get a little pizzazz in her step, maybe a little excitement about the games. But this is this is who this is who is leading three four three since Bungie left. And I can't I can't get past the idea that this is the reason why everything about Halo has been subpar trend chasing bullshit since they took over because they have somebody in charge who lacks passion, who lacks vitality, who is just this <sighs> halo. I mean, that's that's everything she every interview I've ever seen from her, she is just this monotone, lifeless, dull, just uh God, give me, give me Stefan Mullen. You put him at three four three. Let him, let him get people excited with his, with his bravado and his, and his caring for games and his, and his excitement for the potential of what gaming can be. Not this. This person doesn't have any passion. This person doesn't have any emotion. They're just a, just a fucking lump. And that's what three, that's what Halo has been for the last fifteen years, almost twenty years, or whatever it's been. It's been an emotionless creation it just been it's been devoid of anything it's been devoid of love it's been devoid of passion it's been devoid of creativity and it all comes down to her well she got shit canned anyway so let's see what is this oh yeah wait hold on did i did i close up the oh wait no i didn't okay so anyway whoops no go for it <laughs> so then the TV show, Bonnie Ross got shit canned. She left. She was she was fired, but she was, you know, they amicably parted ways is what they say, you know, just not to screw her over so that she uh, can get a job again. Say It's like what they want to say is, oh, she was terrible at her job. She fucking lost Microsoft tons of money. Um, she destroyed a franchise that should have been the flagship of Microsoft gaming and everything else, and she fucked it. And they can't say that. So they're like, oh, Family health emergency. She had to go do a thing. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, so then the Halo TV show comes out. And among the many problems with this show is that it's not Halo. Not at all. Not even close. But then among the other many problems that nobody nobody seems to like to talk about. I think I'm the only person that I've ever seen talk about this. But Master Chief has sex with a non-combatant prisoner of war. And that's rape. 
So that's a big problem with the show, uh, along with it just sucking. So this sucks. So anyway, then we move on. Kiki Wolfkill gets shit killed. So Ross, top dog. Kiki Wolfkill, second top dog. Fucking gone. They're out of 343, right? Okay, so this is, we're seeing a trend here now. Microsoft does a bunch of layoffs. They shit can the, the, the two of the main three from 343, right? So there's that. People are getting excited now. They're like, holy shit, is Microsoft seriously thinking about closing 343 maybe and maybe trying to salvage Halo? I mean, could this really be happening? And then we get this little bit of information. Along with all the rumblings about how 343 is moving to Unreal and they're laying off a bunch of people and all this other kind of stuff, Joseph Staten, the guy who they brought in to save Halo, the guy they brought back to save Halo, is leaving 343 to join Xbox Publishing? Like, if this isn't the nail in the coffin that proves conclusively that they are cleaning house and they're going to fucking start over, I don't know what is. This is crazy. This is absolute bonkers. I mean, laying off people is one thing. You know, that's something that happens when when companies are doing restructuring and things like that, trying to meet their fourth quarter sales earnings and all this other horse shit. I mean, they lay off a ton of people to make up money that they're losing in different sectors, whatever it is. That happens. But when they bring back the guy or they reshuffle Joseph Staten to some other part of Xbox, the guy who they brought back to literally save Halo Infinite, this does not bode well. Um, and then today... Or I think over the last couple of days, let's see here. We'll go to go to the go to the YouTube's. So I think Mint Blitz, Mint Blitz, Mint Mint Blitz. Well, guys, um, he just put out a video, and I looked in a bunch of other things. There's uh, apparently, apparently, Slip Space is going to be shit canned, or at least put to the side anyway at some point, and they're going to be moving to Unreal, uh, which is kind of crazy, but it's kind of incredible. So, whew, man, this is a really, this is actually a really exciting thing because Microsoft for years and years and years has been ignoring the 800 pound gorilla in the room and just letting Bonnie Ross do whatever, letting Kiki Wolf kill do whatever. And when it came to doing whatever, they were destroying the Halo franchise. Uh, they fumbled the the just the, the most epic fail like um who the fuck was it that that missed what was it in the world series was it carlton fisk that missed the ball that went between his legs the the ground grounder whatever it was anyway there's a thing bad bad sports analogy that i can't remember uh but they fucked up so big that they literally almost destroyed an entire franchise between the two of them and then you have frank o'connor now frank o'connor gets reshuffled or leaves or whatever, then that is, I mean, Staten is, I mean, okay, Staten is the one that is conclusive. I mean, that to me, that is just like, okay, they they realize how bad things are and they realize that they don't course correct right now. They are super fucked. Um, so I think it's pretty obvious that, um, that winds of change are in the air and it's not just speculation anymore. Um, with the announcement, or the, with the like, if you look on, if you look up, um, uh, three four three is abandoning slip space. You can find all kinds of articles about it. Like Bloomberg had a write up about it. Um, it's it's out there. It's definitely out there. But this is great news, though. Pot well, potentially, potentially, it's great news. We thought it was great news when State was coming back, but this is potentially great news because they addressed the two main cancers within Halo: Wolfkill and Ross, and. Maybe, maybe there's a, 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 a sliver of hope. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. I am just, but I'm just, uh, I am, um, I am newly invigorated with the potential for Halo going forward. If they, if they do switch to the Unreal Engine, this potentially opens up them being able to, uh, 
do a lot more in terms of the game um, and not being saddled by this buggy, terrible old slip space engine shit. Uh, they can get content out faster. Um, they can make better looking content uh, because the Unreal Engine is it's tested, it's tried, it's true uh, to some degree. You know, it's it's reliable. Um, so the turnaround on things going from concept to finished product um, could really just boom, boom, boom. Their their production could just. Oh man, it's 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 really exciting thinking about it. It's really exciting thinking about it because Halo could again become competitive. It could again become interesting. It could not just be these, um, uh, the the little things. The Staten comes out talking about the roadmap. Oh well, we've had to do this and we've had to do that, and they kept using Staten to, to, to soften the blow. And that other guy, I forget what his name is, the guy with the glasses, the, the Asian fellow, I forget, oh, God, what is his name? Shit, it doesn't matter, whatever. And him coming out, no, still, it's great, it's a great place. It's like all these people just lying on and all this bullshit. It's like, okay, if they get on Unreal, then maybe it is. You know, maybe it is in a good place. Maybe it potentially could be awesome again. Maybe it could lead gaming instead of just chasing trends. Maybe it could become something valuable again. Um... If this is true, if they are really going to Unreal, this is super exciting. This is super, super exciting because it means that they're actually taking serious the idea that Halo is faltering to the point where they have to make a big change. It's like, you fix it now or you're fucked forever. Um, they they have put their faith too deeply into 343 and uh, Microsoft. I think they finally realized that that trust and that faith was um, it was misplaced. It was misguided. Um but with Wolfkill and Ross and a myriad of other people leaving, um, maybe we'll see some good stuff. Maybe we'll see some good stuff in the future. Anyway, um, that was what I wanted to talk about. I was I was super excited about this because I was thinking about doing this thing today, and I was like, oh, maybe this means they're going to be moving on. Maybe this means they're going to go to they're going to drop slip space. Maybe they're going to do this, and maybe they're going to do that. And apparently the things I was thinking apparently have been, you know, through Bloomberg, through Mint Blitz, through uh, various other places have been basically, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, they're doing it now. It's 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 what they're doing. So as a Halo fan, I'm very excited about this. Um, I have I have wanted, I have yearned, I have ached for good Halo and Infinite just is not it. Uh, I stopped playing it like th three or four months after it came out because it was just so fucked. And um, that's been very that's been very tough because I want to play Halo, but that game is just there's just nothing there. It's just empty. It's dead. It's a carcass. Uh, anyway, though, uh, I just wanted to do, the, do this real fast. It was just a little impromptu stream kind of thing I wanted to set up and do. And um, anyway, tomorrow is Thursday, and I'll be back to Dead Space remake, Dead Space Remake. Uh, we're gonna be playing that until it's done, and then I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but. Um, till tomorrow, I will see you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And, uh, I will see you then. Thanks for stopping by.